I consider myself as a very fortunate person who had the privilege to uh, seek the meaning of life. Uh, I took my B.Tech uh, in civil engineering just because the society and my parents, everyone, uh, there was no choice other than either engineering or medicine that time. It was in 1995 and uh, I took my degree. But after that or during the time, I realized that it is not my way. It's not my personal choice of life. I wanted to be an actor or director at that time when I passed out of my degree. Uh, and I had a heart a disease at that time from my childhood it was there. So I was taking medicines and I came to know about natural natural living method to heal the trouble of heart and other uh, diseases. But the whole thing happened in 2001. I came in, into contact with one K. Bashir of Manarkat here. And he directed me towards natural living. It was my first turning point in my life. So I quit medicines in one week, taking only raw food and uh, a raw living kind of thing. Till then I was just like a normal person. Just no, don't know, just like living for somebody's sake, I don't know. So, but after that, I realized that the mainstream is not very uh, as, as perfect as we see. So, I took a different path. I quit the, um, that Polish way of life. Actually, even after BTEC, I took my uh, Masters in Industrial Design from IIT Delhi and it was, I did some experiments in my life, how to live and it's the, that time I, I lost my mother, 2005-7 it was. But I failed to sustain myself at that day, days and from my, that failure, I returned back to life through some toys and the kids. Uh, Arvind Gupta, uh, you can say a pioneer in the world of toy making out of trash materials, the thrown away materials helped me to come back to my life. So from then, uh, I realized that uh, even a thrown away material has its own value. S simple, small, small things has its value. But I, I uh, considered myself as a waste at that time. So I rejuvenated myself uh, through my attitude, I, I call it and attitude as ahimsa, non-violence. It is not just about toys, it is attitude towards everything, our way of life, not only food, uh, even the, each and every approach towards our ourselves and uh, everything around us. Mm, then these toys I took as uh, a tool to communicate with children. Uh, and children taught me how to live actually. It, is, it was in 2011 to, uh, till date, uh, I consider children as my gurus, teachers. Still, I value academic professors, and good, there are good professors, but not the normal ones who teach uh, co to, to teach to compete uh, ourselves. I never went in that way. Yeah, I have done many, uh, more than 600 workshops with children and adults also, especially in South India, I'm making uh, toys out of waste the so-called waste, wasted materials, you can say. Mm. So, during those workshops, what I did, did was, uh, I didn't teach anything. Actually, I showed something uh, that may be interesting to the children. And uh, I gave them space and uh, freedom to learn, actually. That's what we should all do in teaching, I think. Just for example, this is a toy which I am trying to make myself, make myself with my brain and my hands, fortunate with all these things. Uh, when I make something f uh, myself, I can repair that one. Uh, see, this is a receiver, how it will work, it's a torn balloon. 
a pen and a cap, a pen spot. Okay, this I have learned from Arvind Gupta. Just remodified something. Mm. So basically, okay. So when I have made it myself with my hands and my brain, I can repair it when it is uh, it goes wrong. Okay. So the same principle is applied with everything. When we make an, a nuclear plant of, with the Russian technology, uh, we will need uh, their assistance to repair that when we uh, when that fail. So that self uh, reliance in each thing uh, is very very important as a society. Allowing to learn oneself is the best way of teaching. Uh, if you teach as an authority. I don't know how we can be an authority. Uh, we can share. I may be good in something, but they may be good in many other things. So we should have a mutual respect in each, each, with interact, each interaction with anybody. So I did that in my life, experimenting myself, exploring uh, different ways of living. And from that I have learned there are two types of development, one towards uh, war and one towards peace. The mainstream, which uh, she's um, teaching us to compete each other, which is uh, asking us to uh, fight each other, everything is there. Mm, that leads to war, uh, the mainstream. That is not the way of uh, the people who like to live peacefully. There is another way towards peace. Mm, that is what we have. We all, as human beings, have to learn and uh, follow. Uh, for that, uh, children helped me a lot. They are uh, the purest form of human beings. They are innocent and uh, lots of things are there to learn from them. They have always helped me to uh, find a way when I am in confusion, which is the way of peace and which is the way of war. So I, I left all my uh, career. I didn't go for any career jobs. Uh, and I selected a way of peace, not war. Mm, the biggest earning industry, I, I did, I did uh, masters in industrial design. The biggest earning industry is arm industry. The, uh, that is what uh, the biggest uh, designers work in uh, to make powerful arms and the powerful machines to kill, not to give any life. So I left that way of life from the beginning itself and uh, the natural and uh, uh, the children in humankind lead me the way to peace. Yeah, there is a law of nature and law of human being. The law of nature is peace actually. So I suggest to all of you, if you want to live a life peacefully, uh, be in present and that's the best quality of children, be in present, not thinking of, don't, don't carrying the past and don't carrying the f future things dreams kind of things just be in present uh, you can learn from the past you can uh, dream but you have to be in present that is the best quality of children mm. people think we have got freedom uh, there was a freedom struggle 70 years before no okay anyway it was there and we have got freedom india has got freedom but what i have seen in my life or have seen in my uh, learned in my life is you have not got any freedom the poor people uh, remain as poor or become more poor, the hierarchy become more visible now. The corporate uh, hi uh, driven world is ruling still uh, in the country. So, I consider that the freedom struggle is still on uh, and we have to earn freedom. And how to earn that freedom? We as a community, as, uh, together, it's very much dependent on um, uh, the industry or not human beings, machines, uh, or the, or I, whatever what I said before, the war industry, that mainstream industry is ruling us. Um, and that, that, that doesn't give you freedom. If you want to be free, uh, but the old Gandhian principles may help us. 
the constructive program like uh, at least we should uh, make food of uh, food ourselves food mm, whatever food cloth shelter then the whatever products we use mm, all we should not it should not depend on others others and second thing it should be uh, natural friendly or eco friendly you can say the modern way of uh, saying it and uh, it should be people friendly second people friendly and eco friendly be able to decide what is right and what is wrong so that is up to us uh there are many uh this is a time of masks <laughs> many there are many masks around us mm, some say this is uh, this is good uh, uh, like i said before religions um have some got some masks i think they say charity or uh, the oh we have to feed the poor but how the poor are born if you ask that question this charity <laughs> will have a different um, uh, way of looking at things uh the same people will give you uh food in the name of charity who make you poor or the same people who make you uh um, ill will give you uh, uh medicines in the name of whatever the system says good so i think that is not um, not right if you need a real solution you have to find the real reason behind the problem and solve that problem so if we see the things around if you uh, 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 resonate with the people who are struggling from there all i le- have learned that it is the poor who always suffer we should have a new constructive program to uh, uh, with my limited experience of myself i, ha- I am on my own feet now but it should be a teamwork and uh, should have a, a proper constructive pr- plan program uh, as gandhi did some years before to gain real freedom for each and everyone to gain real health for each and everyone real health means a lot it doesn't mean uh, a, a big uh, the height of hospitals doesn't mean you have more health no hospitals that means you have you will have better health so we should go for right health and right uh, way of living if you are in the way, that way we all uh, sustain by helping each other or it will be a coexistence uh, so in that way we all will be happy the tribals also like the children the tribal people also teach us the same thing uh, they don't even uh, own a land in myself this is my land this is, this is your land it's not like that uh, so there is a lot of things from uh, tribals to also to learn so i question this um, centralized government itself pardon me real freedom uh, won't have any country barrier it is global it should make us all global citizen uh, there is no bharat mata forgetting this the, the very land beneath your feet so, uh, but many things are going going uh, in the name of um, patriotism uh, but real patriots will love only won't hate this the way of hating people each other that's the way of ruling divide and rule the same thing happens now also so i suggest each human being who like to live peacefully go for um, real answers and go for uh, real freedom mm-hmm. sustainable development in is one word that the modern uh, people use for this good sustainable uh good for life I, i would say so if you go for good education um mm, what will what is what is that we see in uh education industry uh, there's an industry around us there some people make money out of that is it really good for the children 
is that really good for the society that is question just like the whatever other systems i said health system or whatever is that really good for the person good for the society good for the nature is that really sustainable that's a question i suggest i say that it is not good it makes us uh, full of in information minded not it it won't help us to live peacefully that's the primary thing uh, second you it create waste big waste you can say uh, the mainstream development from forest to uh, to city that journey we can say the nature with life goes into nature with waste that's what we see in the way of development in that direction the so called good of the textbook may not be all good actually uh, it will teach us to create waste coming out of an engineering institution i have learned civil engineering but i didn't know what is civil engineering after even after 4 years of study that's the uh, truth with most of the children the, they doesn't know for what they are learning that's a big challenge of the modern world education system which make the thinking minds of the children a big waste they teach to uh, dismantle all the questions within the children children has the potential nature gives us children to give answers to the problems of the the world but what we as human beings try to do is kill all their ability to solve the questions they will just teach the way of that modern industry which will keep on giving waste and keep on giving wars and keep on giving uh, imbalances in the society but the first thing they kill all their ability the natural ability uh, to solve the questions that is what they make their minds brains everything waste that is the reason of the big waste around us in this modern world so if you want a real solution to the waste so uh, i i i uh, i find the answer as uh, giving freedom to children to think giving them space to answer questions just guide them we, have, we can guide them but not teach them the same stupid things which which uh, make problems this primary thing the modern world kill life that's i repeat <laughs> so we should not opt for that kind of uh, life and uh, we should go for uh, the uh, sen life you can say or the normal people's life we have many things to learn from common people common people have common sense common sense uh, can answer many things for example <laughs> and this one uh, this is more, uh, another toy uh, this is also arvind gupta's toy and i called it um, the toy of hope toy of hope pradeeksha i call it in malayalam pradeeksha vishari i call it because it gives some hope it is there is nothing and from zero it gives some beautiful flower so it gave me uh, hope in my life it can give many other hope so during my journey with children toys i came into contact with many good people that's my best best uh, reward of that journey not money out of that uh, there was kukku forest school in tamil nadu keralayam in um, kerala shikshandar in rajasthan that kind of people who work in the uh, field of education and children uh, came into contact with me so i consider that as very big fortune in my life at present kuku kuku team has different people who give dif di uh, do different types of work but it can act much more in the field of education i think because there are many educated people who need direction of direction in their life how to live in a better way the very stressed people in that uh, mainstream industry so kuku can be a good platform like shikshandar uh, in the world of education education more not with the ch young uh, small children with the younger generation also because the real revolution happens with education first we don't need certificates to live actually uh, live beautifully mm. we need certificates to live uh, to su survive some time but in real life we don't need any certificate from the institutions 
mm, we need knowledge we need confidence that's what all what we need in our life to live beautifully actually uh, we have to unlearn all stupid things if you have if you are a learned person unlearn i would say unlearn all the stupid things then learn the needed things from the common people from the children from nature whatever it is learn the right things and be confident even if it is a small thing be confident and then we can lead a very good life mm. and uh, understand one thing that the life is a teamwork not an individual work we cannot solve all the all the problems of this world but we can answer our problems we can answer the uh, problems of our friends and the problems we come around uh, in our way of life so don't think about big big things which we cannot answer but do answer do try to answer the simple things around us and that will help us to the next step and that will help us to the third step like that and we can answer the whole whole problems of the world i believe mm -hmm. that's my journey and uh, uh, sad to say our education system doesn't uh, help us to uh, stand on our own feet uh, <laughs> it doesn't answer all our questions it it actually doesn't encourage questions itself any any other questions other out of syllabus questions uh, we all live in a world uh, driven by money good if we can we can control money money should not and uh, control our lives i think uh, so try to find a uh, ways uh, to live without money if you really want to live peacefully you have to search and find yourself uh, even if somebody say something don't ju just uh, gulp it just like that just think first apply in your life uh, experiment with yourself then decide what is right and what is wrong because words can lie lives cannot lie so believe in lives yeah thank you